Welcome to Databricks, an integrated workspace and managed Spark platform brought to you by the creators of Apache Spark. This video will provide you a high-level overview of the Databricks cluster manager and jobs, which will allow you to launch Spark nodes and schedule code to run. Let's start in the Databricks integrated workspace and select the Databricks cluster manager. In the Databricks cluster manager, you can see the active and recently terminated clusters, whether created by yourself or other team members. To start a new cluster, click on Create Cluster and fill in the Cluster Manager dialogs. Notice that you can choose which version of Spark, including pre-release versions when available. You can also choose on-demand, spot, or a mixture of instances, so you can scale on-demand. You can also choose Memory Optimized, as well as Compute Optimized instant types for your CPU-heavy tasks, such as training machine learning models. With your cluster online, you can now attach and execute multiple notebooks. You can scale your clusters on demand by adding or removing nodes when you need them, restart when you need to reset your clusters, or terminate clusters instead of leaving them idle to save money. With Databricks, you can transition from development to production in a matter of clicks by using the Databricks Jobs feature. For example, instead of rewriting your notebook, you can run it as a job. Start by selecting the notebook you would like to have scheduled. To run your periodic job, you can choose to use an existing cluster, one you keep continuously running, or build a new cluster, where the cluster is automatically created and terminated for the job, with the option of using spot instances or fall back to on-demand. You can schedule this job in increments of minute to months with your set start time. You can even specify this by cron syntax. As well, under advanced options, you can specify emails to receive alerts for different type of events. You can also specify the job timeout in minutes, as well as set the job's retry policy, the number of times to retry and the wait times between the retries. With a few clicks, you have a scheduled job that provides easy access to the active and completed runs, including the output from the run in question. This is especially useful when debugging any issues or errors. You also have the ability to drop in a jar that has been compiled in any version of Spark and run it as a scheduled job. Thanks for watching this Databricks Cluster Manager and Jobs video. Now that you've walked through the Databricks platform, you can start configuring clusters and jobs.